is Pat, and in this video we're going to cover some intermediate design principles. We're going to use our sample site and make some adjustments so that you can see how applying some more advanced design features um, can help you uh, get what you want out of your site. Now, initially, uh, you might want to go to the design section and identify any of these design elements that you uh, would like to adjust. So, for instance, uh, we can adjust the body background color. Um, we could take the uh, heading font and, oh, let's make that a, a deep red color. And updating these um, will show us, uh, when we go back to the design tab, those changes uh, directly in that area. And uh, if we take a look at the live site, we can see those changes applied uh, instantly. Now, beyond applying uh, these types of tools, you can apply custom uh, CSS and HTML elements. And uh, there are two places that that can occur. These features give you the site-wide features. And here you'll see a number of uh, access points to uh, parts of the template. Um, so for instance, uh, let's say that we wanted to adjust the font size of our navigation. Um, the first thing we'll need to do is identify the CSS elements that are controlling that font size, uh, which I've done here. And we want to copy those rules and paste that into the custom CSS. And if we adjust that font size um, to 18 pixels, we can now apply uh, custom CSS rules. Now, these CSS rules uh, are applied at the site level, and they will override um, any other rules that exist in the system. Uh, for instance, let's say that we wanted to make the H3 uh, font size oh let's say we want to make it 50 pixels just so we can see a, a really big example of what that's going to look like and so we just apply that CSS and if we go back to our site and take a look for any h3s uh, we see one over here that has become a much larger font even though the design uh, area for H3 is only showing 22 pixels. So that is to say that these custom CSS rules will override any other system rules that you have and um, they can be adjusted here. Uh, additionally, um, you can access and drop in footer content. Uh, in this example, uh, that footer content would go here. So if we if we just type in test and update, um, we're going to see that test right above uh, this section. And, and so you can uh, place as much um, content in that area as you would like. Um, another uh, uh, area that might be helpful uh, to you is above the body tag. And uh, this will drop um, content right at the end of the head tag. And so, for instance, if you wanted to add some fonts that you didn't find in the uh, system-generated fonts, you can go to uh, Google Web Fonts and um, identify any of the fonts there that you might like to use and then include um, that font link uh, in uh, above the head area. Um, the global navigation uh, is adjusted here and um, if we wanted to add uh, additional links there, uh, let's just say, and using that structure um, we can add additional uh, elements into the um, global navigation. I'm going to go ahead and take that out for now. The uh, header image is located here, and that's simply the URL of the, um, of the site. And this is the uh, header image. Uh, 
So if I remove that, uh, what we'll see is that uh, the system generated header image um, will drop in there automatically. Um, slideshow code, um, we've got a number of tutorials on how to do slideshows. If you want to customize uh, some HTML or a custom slideshow, you can do that. And depending upon the layout you're selecting, that slideshow will show uh, on the page. Um, then uh, navigation, if you don't want to use the system navigation, you want to do something uh, uh, there, you could add your own HTML in here for desktop navigation and uh, you could add different HTML for your mobile navigation if that's what you wanted to do. So those are some areas where you can dig down into the HTML. The other area I wanted to show, the other idea I want to show you about uh, design principles is selecting um, different page layouts. Now in the tabs you'll see that there's a page layout tool and here there are seven uh, of the most common page layouts uh, with visual references about where the content and the slideshows go. Um, but under the pull down menu you'll notice that there are many more options and you can uh, select any one of these um, page layouts and as you uh, change that page layout the uh, site is going to render uh, based on that layout reference. And so in this example um, let's open the proper page. Here we go. Uh, we have three columns and right now there's only one column of content. So um, we could add more content there uh, or perhaps we wanted to um, have a, a one column of content. Uh, we can select a one column layout and that'll produce just one large uh, content area um, for, for that page. Um, so uh, selecting the page layout is going to select the structure of the uh, page design. And then one additional area under the design area beyond just adjusting the colors and the fonts um, there are some template options. I would uh, say be cautious with these as you start changing some of these adjustments. You might find yourself um, getting your site a little bit out of whack. Um, the best template uh, is, is generally the one to keep and um, beyond that uh, you can establish different um, default layouts for a page. So when you create new pages um, what is that going to look at? Um, for feeds, um, you can define different default structures of the underlying feeds and uh, you can select uh, different base style sheets. Um, for instance, if you wanted to um, have a completely raw site that you wanted to do all of the custom CSS work for, um, you could simply leave all of these areas blank, select that to none, and then update your site. And then if you were to go back and take a look, you'll see um, just a completely raw bootstrap um, uh, navigation, or excuse me, site, where the most minimal um, CSS elements are being displayed so that you can do as much customization as you'd like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this back to Episcopal for now, but uh, feel free to mess around with those and you can always uh, turn those back to the uh, prior settings if you find yourself in a box. Um, so that's working with uh, uh, some advanced design features and uh, dropping in custom CSS. Thanks.